welcome to our uh, NPTEL lectures on flexible AC transmission systems, fax devices. Today we are uh, we'll continue to our discussions with UPQC. This will be our second lecture on the UPQC based on the UPQC classification. So, where we have left, let us continue with that. So, we were discussing a different kind of topology, different kind of uh, C, uh, CSI or VSI. Now, and also the uh, shunt type compensation is connected in the right hand or the left hand. Then, you can also uh, consider the uh, classification of the UPQC based on the rating, that is rating based classification of the UPQC. Uh, the in this type, the UPQC P that is actually which injects the voltage in phase, the rating of the DVR is quite low because you know actually uh, it does not uh, in, if it does not have a power uh, storage element, generally uh, the element will be this rating will be quite low and it requires the minimum uh, series injection. So, only it required to compensate the SAGs. Since DVR part of the UPQC active power, this type of UPQC is known as that UPQC P that is related to the real power and mostly it will mitigate the SAC. So, this type of operation of the UPQC P is quite satisfactorily operation. What does it do? You know, both SAGs and soil compensation. In case of the soil, it will take out extra, it will inject the voltage 180 degree phase opposition, thus, voltage swelling will come down. And another is UPQC S that is on the apparent power. UPQC S, the shunt compensator statcom or D statcom is used for current based compensations uh, other than the full reactive power of the load or the source length. So, what it will do you know it is used for the current based compensation. It will try to actually mitigate mostly the different kind of har harmonics if it is present that also and the reactive power as well as the negative sequence component of the current. So, the full reactive power both load and the source end. Then what happened? In such situation the series compensator DVR inject voltage in series between the AC mains and the load end that is predetermined by the phase angle of the PCC and it may not be actually the quadrature or the phase injection, it may be a different angle to meet that demand. It need both active and the reactive power through the voltage source converter of the DVR with a minimum rating both minimum V rating and the VCS. So, for this reason what does it do? It will be basically optimize the rating of the actually series compensator and this type of operation of the QS is quite satisfactory for both SAG and soil elimination. It can also do the both apart from that it can also D stat come will eliminate the current part of it. In this type of QS the rating of both DVR and D stat com are minimized or utilized in a proper condition to supply the reactive power of the system for the proper shading. What does it actually understand? We understand it, it is basically the optimal solution QS. What happened? You got a D stat com, ultimately the delta angle changes because of the injection, because you have a shunt injection, thus you are injecting IC. So, that's since you are injecting IC, so angle between the voltage and current also get changed. So, for this reason you know when the sax and soil occurs instead of actually injecting in phase or quadrature, it will actually calculate the angle it required to inject and in inject in that angle. 
in the tutorial classes or assignment we shall consider this actually this kind of uh, a statcom and we have to find it out their angle so that we can inject that voltage by the DVR. Please try to understand from this phasor diagram the, this concept. The concept of UPQS with the minimum VA rating, it is very much required because it will reduce the power rating of the switches of the voltage source converter or the phase angle control PSC of the series voltage injection of the DVR has been introduced for the different objectives. What happened you know let us read out the nomenclature of it. The voltage sack and soil compensation in series voltage injection at a suitable phase angle, angle with required objectives. This is the objective one of which may be used to reduce the VA rating of the UPQC. Let us understand it. So, what happened you know actually this was uh, un uh, uncompensated VS and this was the actual uh, load current and you inject this voltage in phase that is not in uh, not, uh, not in phase or quadrature in an optimal angle. So, that you know actually V L become this and ultimately the new I S become this and you have a optimal correction. Same way here you have this V S. Now, what you do basically you inject this D V R and thus you know your V L become this load voltage and ultimately you can make this current sinusoidal. So, let us understand it since DVR part of the UPQC inject active and the reactive power with minimum VA rating for this reason this type of UPQC is known as the UPQC S and where S denotes the apparent power which is its VA rating. Why it is optimal? Because you understand it you know actually you can inject in phase or the quadrature, but then also this optimal correction of the delta was not possible. You want that angle between them required to be delta and ultimately in this case you know in this case what happened? this was a V S and this was I L and, uh, and this is coming from the T statcom and that will make this actually current in phase with the V S. And so, you require to compensate some portion of the sag so that actually V L has to be reduced. So, you inject this voltage ultimately this and this and ultimately new voltage become V s prime that is your rated voltage and thus you get a compensation both line in phase the new s, new i s and new v s are in at phase. So, this operation is a, a, a optimal operation of the UPQC and where rating of this actually the UPQC is list. Now, let us now discuss about the principle of the operation of the UPQC. So, as we have seen that there is a many topologies, many way of classifying it, many configurations what a, So, how can you generalize its operation? Of course, it is a power quality it will mitigate the power quality problem but how can you generalize this actually principle of operation. So, as told you that many configuration of the UPQC has been discussed in previous classes, but the principle of operation and the control of the UPQC will be limited here for the voltage source based shunt UPQCs. So, we shall actually restrict our discussion most popular type of UPQC. The main objective 
of this UPQC is to mitigate multiple power quality problem which has been discussed as a voltage, it is related to the voltage, it is related to the current. So, mitigate multiple power quality problem in a distribution system that is surge spikes, so a voltage so is voltage sacks, volt, uh, there is a drip in actually voltage harmonics and all those things and also unbalanced load unbalance, magnetic sequence component all those and the reactive power from the current harmonics all those are will, will be actually the part of the current disturbance. So, we it will require to mitigate both the actually problem arises from current as well as the voltage. UPQC mitigates most of the voltage quality problem such as the sags, swell these are all voltage problem, surge, noise, spikes, notches, flickers, unbalanced voltage, unbalanced current can be also there, fractulations, regulations and harmonic present in the supply slash point of common coupling, PCC transfer point of common coupling system and a series compensator that is DVR cleans this all these nasty things and give us ideal sinusoidal balance constant magnitude load, can constant magnitude voltage source to the consumer at the load end. At the same time, the shunt compensator of UPQC that is essentially DSTATCOM mitigates most of the current quality problem such as reactive power, unbalanced current, if it is three phase four wire, then neutral current, harmonics, fractulation presents in the loads and due to that load current fractulations all those entities required to be cleaned up by the DSTATCOM. Otherwise, the system provide what does this DSTATCOM do? This DSTATCOM, the system, otherwise in the system, and it provides a sinusoidal balance current in the supply with the DC bus voltage regulations in proper coordination with the DVR. And maintaining the DVR also, maintaining the actual the deceiling voltage, uh, which is shared by DVR as, a, as well as DSTATCOM also the task of this, also this task of this actually the DSTATCOM, DSTATCOM generally maintains the DC bus voltage. Both voltage source converter uses PWM control, but in some cases you will find that actually the DSTATCOM may use a hysteresis controller for sake of simplicity, but there is a problem of hysteresis controller which we have discussed in previous classes that it is a it is not a constant frequency operation ultimately designing of the inductor and all those things are actually complex. But advantage of this uh, advantage of the hysteresis controller is simple, why simple because you need not have to tune the PI controller and therefore, they require small rip and what happened? since it is if it is made by the PWM control then it will require a small ripple filter to mitigate the switching ripple. It is applicable for both actually for hysteresis control as well as the PWM control. Generally what happen how it will work they require a hall effect voltage and the current sensor for feedback signals since it is a DSTATCOM level it does not require CTs and PTs in distribution level for feedback signals and normally a digital signal processor DSP or FPGA we can use programmable field array also is used to implement the required control algorithm to generate the getting signals for the solid state devices both this VCSC of UPQC. The series VCSC used as DVR normally controlled 
in the PWM voltage control mode to inject the appropriate voltage in series with the AC mains and generally it will have a series transformer also. So, ultimately that it will also mitigate some amount of the switching harmonics. The shunt voltage source converter uses D statcom and is normally controlled in current control PWM mode. It can be average current mode control or peak current mode control. Generally, we prefer average current mode control and we require to tune the PI controller for this reason. Mode to uh, current con control mode to inject the appropriate current in parallel or in shunt with the load of the system. We have discussed earlier, uh, so the slide says that it is mentioned earlier. The criteria of the control of UPQC are divided into the all the three categories. That is UPQC Q that will inject voltage in quadrature with the VS, UPQC P that will inject voltage in phase and UPQC S it will inject the voltage optimal angle. So, that rating of the UPQC will be the least. The reference signal for the control of both components of the UPQC have to be derived accordingly using a number of the control algorithm normally used for controlling the DVL and the D statcom. So, whatever the we have a series of the actually reference generation technique we have discussed in the case of the D statcom, most of them can be applied. So, so it is just little extension of what we have seen in the D statcom. There are more than a dozens rather it should be around 50 now. Control algorithms are used for the control of the D statcom and the TVR. Few are popular we shall discuss few because you know that itself can be a course what are the reference generation technique when in practically finds the application for QPQC. Control algorithms are satisfied into two such categories one is time domain another is frequency domain another domain is nowadays actually emerging these are the evolutionary computing like GA based artificial neural network based all those things. But but process itself you know it, it is basically a derived form only the time domain and frequency domain. So, these are actually the list of uh, list of the time domain algorithm. So, I do not want to fill more slide on it. So, I restrict it. So, this num number is quite huge and we shall uh, just take out one or two con uh, control algorithm for it. So, one popular actually time domain reference generation technique is actually SRF we in, in abbreviation we say synchronous reference frame theory known as DQ theory Deepak Devan and uh, uh, Shubhasit Bhattachari et al actually they came out this theory when we will cite the reference there is a good very good application note as well as this thing in uh, industrial electronics. So, you can refer that actual SRM note for the D statcom, but you can extend it to definitely to the UPQC. Instantaneous reactive power theory this is the first one to see the light of it Akagi et al is proposed that or it is alpha beta theory we say that it came in 1984 quite long ago, but it is quite popular also. Instantaneous symmetrical component theory. So, this is uh, uh, this uh, this is actually find very much applicable in case of the three phase four wire systems and Nakagi Nobe 
proposed this theory in 1991 I think. So, they are power balance theory. So, instantaneous power consumption should be 0 except the losses from there this component will come out, but most of them actually uses a low pass filter. So, that is there is a delay and now you have a neural network artificial neural network and then you can change the weight with the adapted neural called adlene. So, these also has been used in practice. Professor Vim Singh have lot of papers on uh, this category. And then PI controller based algorithm, it all implies PI algorithm. So, it is actually same kind of algorithm is there. Thereafter, uh, another methods are current synchronous detection or the CST method. So, that is called synchronous current method. So, it will find it out the unit template and all those things. And thereafter, I cos phi because this is a real component of the power algorithm, it try to optimize this value. This and this are almost similar. And if it is a if it is a single phase system, then SRF can be modified and it is said to be the actually the single phase PQ theory instead of a DQ theory. It is just very simple thing, you know, you give a 90 degree phase shift and you say that actually it is V, uh, uh, it is real power and the apparent power. And also enhanced phase loop based control algorithm, it is generate the unit template in a proper way for the distorted voltage and current. So, this is also finding lot of applications. Conductance based control algorithm that is also finding its applications because it sees that conductance has to be minimized. So, in that way we can optimize the actually the reference and track the reference generation. So, because you know when resistance is nil uh, sorry in a when you have got a resistive load that impedance is minimum. So, from there from this concept you know actually try to minimize the value of the impedance and thus conductance or increase the conductance. This is a method of conductance phase algorithm. And thereafter you have adaptive detection algorithm known as the adaptive interference cancel theory. So, it will be mostly it is used in ANN based system. So, there it will automatically adopt the weight and find it out actually what should be the actual component of the voltage harmonics in the current harmonic or the SAC component of it. So, these are the few uh, basic time domain algorithm which has been put into the practice for UPQC as well as the DVR and DSTATCOM. Same way we will have uh, some, uh, uh, some technique on the frequency domain, these are Fourier series. So, you take a sample and do the FFT, from the FFT you find it out the exact component of the harmonics and that is quite trivial and then it is basically the improvement on this actually FFT, Fourier series theory. So, it is a discrete Fourier transform theory, again it is almost the same thing. So, here you can minimize the noise and this actually from this actually you can have a first Fourier transformation which I was telling the FFT this is quite popular entity here for generating the reference. And thereafter recursive, uh, recursive uh, discrete Fourier transformation it is discrete because it is a digital domain you take the samples of one of the preet and find it out its component and generally what happen recursive one actually has a advantage that it does not have the property of changing uh, actually you did not have to compute computational benefit is there in recursive risk square because you know you do not have to do the matrix inversion. So, computation will be fast for the recursive risk square. Same way Kalban filter based algorithm is also popular in digital domain. You can find it out actually the harmonic content in present into the current as well as the 
voltage by the Kalman filter and this is a wavelet transformation theory you have to design the mother wavelet that is a challenge otherwise it is a very good technique and it can detect the time of the change anything has been occurred also the bloat or the voltage or this thing then only it will take a corrective actions and it can detect basically phase and the frequency both and the, from this phase we can compute this basically the time that change has occurred and then you can take then it is wavelet based design also can compute the harmonic required to be injected or suppressed. Same way the new emerging few techniques that is coming in a research domain that is Stockwell transformations theory. So, this kind of techniques are now emerging for computations of the uh, computation of this actually the current content in a, a load as well as the voltage. Empirical decompositions and transformation theory this is also coming from the evolutionary computing this is also one of the very important thing nowadays many researchers working on it and there is Hilbert Hang transformation theory. This is quite also important. So, this is actually Hilbert transformations also used to compute the harmonic component. These are basically the major uh, uh, major way of actually computing the harmonic. So, we can uh, go back uh, the in SRM method how we have done it. So, same kind of mostly you know actually uh, for the power electronics domain we generally work into the time domain and these three actually the control techniques are popular and useful. We have discussed this detail in case of the UP, uh, in case of the D statcom. So, we are not going to that detail now and you were actually requested to revisit our actually D statcom lecture where all those actually theory has been uh, discussed in actually briefly. So, that will be helpful to understand our next lectures that is based on this actually application of this uh, application of this and uh, and you know this D statcom and this DVR this combination is one of the major success to mitigate the power quality. And for this reason mostly this actually these three methods basically you know this method basically it employs all employees basically a PI controller and a low pass filter. So, how well you tune the low pass filter and how well you actually set the how well you set the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter and how well you actually tune the PI controller based on this this actually this operation demands. So, it requires uh, expertise to actually implement these controllers and however, in control domain this uh, in, in frequency based control domain this expertise can be nullified. So, you have to write a very good program and you can extract the harmonic content over it. So, for this reason this methods are gaining popularity, but those who are in working in a power electronics domain they are very much familiar with actually uh, actually the characteristics and the features and they are comfortable in time domain. So, and those who are basically now emerging and they have a very good knowledge on DSP digital signal processing and these methods they are basically now actually and are good in mathematics basically they can actually they actually go for these methods and now this is gaining popularity. So, uh, both of them claim their superiority, but actually you can choose either of it, where you find you you are comfortable in that particular way of actually generating signals. Uh, thank you for your kind attention, we shall continue to our lecture.
on uh, classifications and different kind of control technique of the UPQC in our next class.